Jessa Duggar has posted a new photo of her children, but some fans speculate that it's to distract from her recent mistakes. Jessa posted the rare photo of Ivy and Fern on her Instagram to share a small moment between the two sisters. The photo shows Fern sitting in a high chair with only one sock on. She's giggling as Ivy stands on her tippy toes in an attempt to feed Fern. Jessa captioned the photo, Sisterhood. At one and three years old, they're already the best of friends. Ivy, let me help you get your last bites, Fernie. The children are wearing very plain clothing in earth tones. Fans of Counting On commented on her photo about how ungroomed her children look. Someone said, I just love IT that they are not groomed and put in front of a camera. Another fan commented, Ivy's hair lately with a crying emoji. Jessa has recently described her parenting style as biblically excellent motherhood because she encourages her children to help around the house. She spoke about how she lets her children help with housework when they are eager to assist. She said, these are opportunities to help them form positive habits of being helpful and seeking out ways to bless and serve others. She continued, Biblically excellent motherhood acknowledges that while allowing my children to play and be little is important, shirking my responsibility to teach them skills and attitudes that will serve them and others well as they grow is wrong. Critics on Reddit were offended that Jessa seemed to throw shade at non-Christian parenting methods. One of those critics said, Jessa is a nasty person, in case anyone needed to be reminded. Of course, this wasn't the first time Jessa caught heat for her parenting methods, biblical or not. Her two sons, Spurgeon, 6, and Henry, 5, were in a dangerous position a few weeks ago, and instead of helping Jessa took a photo. Fern has been photographed in a dangerous situation that made Jessa's fans nervous. She also allowed Fern to make a giant mess in the family home because she thinks one day she'll miss the mess, 